Welcome to the International Islamic University, Malaysia, the Garden of Knowledge and Virtue. The university has been established since 1983. Its vision to restore and advance the leading role of the Ummah in all branches of knowledge for the whole of humanity. In our history, Islamic history, um, the uh, flowering of, um, of, of, of scientific knowledge and research uh, was actually based on the worldview of Tawheed, uh, the worldview that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, is the creator of the universe, He is the sustainer of the universe, He is the power, uh, the energy, the will. Uh, that um, uh, make the universe run as it is and what is known as the uh, laws of nature uh, are in fact uh, laws which uh, Allah has uh, embedded uh, in the natural phenomena uh, to function as, as, as it is. Uh, so in other words, uh, we conducted this research uh, on the assumption that the religious schools would have this uh, awareness of, uh, of the great uh, Islamic contribution uh, to sciences uh, and also how the, uh, the study of, of, of nature and natural phenomenon uh, was actually grounded upon the worldview of Talheed. Uh, so we, would, uh, we were expecting the Islamic religious schools uh, to be uh, not only aware but also uh, incorporating and integrating uh, the uh, perspectives of uh, the worldview of the Quran uh, in the teaching of physics, chemistry and, and biology. Gelatin, 95% of gelatin in the world market are non-halal. 60% 60, 60 are derived from pig animal and another 35%, 30 to 35% are derived from halal animal, but in terms of slaughtering in dog food. Gelatin is, is widely used in every product. Yeah? It is in food products, it's available, it's also needed in, in the pharmaceutical, in cosmetic, personal care, in almost all types of consumer product that we consume every day. In this uh, uh, institute, uh, we develop halal gelatin. Various types of resources have been used for in our research. Number one is uh, from fish. We already uh, scanned yeah, about 30 type species of fish, and some of them are very, very comparable very to the uh, non-halal gelatin that is now available in the market. And also, we got a grant yeah, from Saudi to develop a gelatin from, from camel. And now we heard that uh, Saudi, they're going to develop a factory to produce uh, a halal gelatin from camel. We produce uh, the uh, granumas, which is a uh, artificial bone from a limestone and be engineered and it become an artificial bone. We produce uh, and involve in um, productions of um, uh, plates for orthopedics osteosynthesis for the uh, fracture fixations. We also involve in uh, metal injection molding plates. Uh, we are very focused on the musculoskeletal development and apply uh, orthopedics research. Uh, for that, I think uh, we are at par with other universities in the world. In future, it's going to become a main thing for the uh, lab to grow beside giving service, to have more collaborations with international uh, collaborators. Apart from uh, the normal uh, banking, Islamic banking products and services. Uh, our focus now is more towards Islamic social finance. So in Islamic social finance, we look at uh, the unbankable segment of the society and we see how 
uh, Islamic finance can actually provide an alternative uh, finance that can actually be more inclusive compared to the uh, conventional uh, banking and finance. Several of our staff sit on the uh, Sharia uh, Advisory Board of Bank Negara Malaysia as well as uh, the Securities Commission. So this uh, means that directly uh, our institute, our staff, uh, you know, contribute directly towards uh, the development, uh, crafting of these uh, uh, policies and guidelines. My areas of research uh, includes uh, semantic technology, uh, which includes uh, the Islamic ontology, okay, or what we call the ontology of Islamic domains, and to produce uh, Islamic search system, uh, Islamic search engine. And I felt that this area is very important Okay, because the world now is very full and actually overloaded by information and knowledge. Okay, and in fact, we are going into the direction of wisdom. So that wisdom can range from wisdom quotations and at the same time maybe at the tasawuf uh, level. So the challenge is for the university to continue to be relevant, referred, as well as respected. The garden of knowledge and virtue will continue to innovate so that the Ummah, the whole world, will prosper. <laughs>